Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at how to set up a character you can control and move around in Unity. Now, uh, just a quick note of where we're starting, what we've got already in the, the uh, scene. I've just added a few cubes, a plane, some lights, a sphere, and I've left the default main camera in the scene. So what I'll do, you'll notice as well that the project tab doesn't have any assets uh, added to it at the moment. So what we'll do in order to make a uh, character that we can control in a scene is import the character controller package. So assets, import package, character controller. And just click import. It'll compile the scripts for a little bit and then a folder called standard assets will appear which contains a folder called character controllers. Now you'll see here two kinds of character controllers. Um, the third person controller is something that you can use to make a, a game like uh, I don't know Super Mario Brothers where you're running around in in third person with a camera floating behind the character so you can see the character move around. And the first person controller um, is a, a good way to make a first person shooter style game where you're seeing through the character's eyes instead of seeing from behind the character. So the first one I'll show you is a third person controller. You can add it to the project, to, to the scene, sorry, um, simply by clicking and dragging from the project tab. So select it and click and drag into the scene and you'll see it appear so you can move it around. Uh, one thing you'll need to be careful of as well is, for some reason it places it halfway through the ground. So if you play the level, this ob this um, character will just fall straight through because it's not sitting on top of the ground. So we can just move it up by clicking the green arrow and dragging upwards. So we can see its feet, that means that it's sitting above the ground. <coughs> so. Um, one thing that we need to set up with this particular character controller is a camera that uh, follows it around. So if we click these little arrows next to the title of uh, each of these components, we can scroll, we can reduce just how much information is being displayed all at once. And we can see for the third person camera script that it requires a camera transform. So what we can do is, as we did for the last video, make sure we've got the third person controller selected so that we can see this script. And then click and drag our main camera from the scene up and over this camera transform variable until it highlights, then let go. And now we've set up a camera that will follow around this character. So if I click play, we'll see the camera will be behind this character and you can control where this character moves by hitting W, A, S and D or you can use the arrow keys to control where he goes. Um, another thing is that you can hold down shift and hit a direction and it'll let him run around. Uh, you can also hit space to jump so it's a pretty uh, pretty well fleshed out character controller to, to let you run and move around a level in third person. Um, and what this does is it lets you uh, turn the character around and then the camera follows around to, to move behind him. Um, and what you can do, um, I can show you this in a later video if anyone's interested, uh, you can actually replace this character model with one of your own. Uh, that has animations for running, walking, jumping, and I think standing idle. So, uh, yeah, the, so I think those are the four animations you need. Um, and you, you can just drop your own model in and define what those animations are in Unity and replace that model and you'll have a, a, a working uh, character that can run around and interact with the level and everything like that. Uh, without much fuss at all. So I'll select this third person controller in the hierarchy tab and hit delete. 
so I can show you how the first person controller works. So I'll go back over to the project tab and click and drag first person controller into the scene and make sure that it's standing above the ground as well. So click and drag the green, the green arrow up. Now one thing to note about the first person controller is that it comes with a main camera by default. So you can go ahead and delete the main camera that's in the scene already. So just select it and hit delete. Now this, the first person controller is actually um, okay to use right off the bat. You don't need to change anything about it at all to make it work. So you can click play and <coughs> you can use the mouse to look around, you know, left and right, up and down and use WASD and the arrow keys to move around. Um, spacebar to jump and the difference with this one is that holding shift does not make you run by default. But this is a, a good way to make a um, say a walkthrough for a, uh, an architectural visualization in Unity uh, without needing to, to fluff around with you know, scripting or anything like that. You just click and drag a first person controller into the level that you've imported and you can walk around in it just fine. Um, and that, that pretty much sums up um, the, the basic kinds of character controllers that you can use in Unity.